9606616. I've, um, for purposes of simplicity, broken the world into three types of people in the uh, developed world. Digital natives, who I define arbitrarily as under 25 years old. These people grew up in the computer age. It's, it's not even second nature, it's first nature. Digital immigrants who are over 25 but pretty much aren't scared of technology. And analogous who are over 25 and very scared of technology. Uh, if you thought of a meeting of a group of 8 to 10 people today and you said, oh, let's think about the digital acumen in the room of those people. And then you went back a little. In 10 years, and he said, what was the digital acumen in the room then? Big difference, big difference, and I'm calling this 2x, just to set up a, a baseline. My argument is we're up for a 10x change going forward. Reason being, digital natives are going to get older. Uh, unlike hippies in the 60s who could cut their hair and then get jobs, you can't take the digital out of the digital natives. It's just, it's just who they are. And they will force through that immigration of the analogous into the digital world. Well, why are they, force, why are they forcing anyone to do anything? Um, my argument is these people are going to be the trendsetters, not just out socially, but in the enterprise. And so in the enterprise, when you have that group of 8 to 10 people, a lot of them are going to be digital natives. And consequently, that means that pretty much every meeting, including now you're going to have people dialing in, calling, you know, participating in all sorts of different ways. But that meeting is going to be in an environment that every issue that is raised may well have an IT solution to it or five IT solutions to it. And the people around the table are partially going to be judged on their ability to offer up a solution to whatever the problem might be. And if you're not offering up a solution, guess what? You know, you got a red flag over your head that maybe you shouldn't be at the company. It's going to be a huge driver. What's that going to force? It's going to force this immigration. These people are going to say, you know what, I'm 47. I don't really get this technology stuff that well. I'm not comfortable with it. And I'm going to be working till 75 or 80. I got to, I'm going to have to start learning this stuff. It's going to be choiceless choice. Uh, ten years ago, you would hear all of the time, people would say, you know, my kids, are, did they so get this computer stuff, but I, I, I just don't get it. You used to hear that all the time. Today, you rarely hear that. That would be a flag. Like, you might want to watch out, maybe I shouldn't be part of this company as it's getting more of an IT. And it's not IT going to the IT person. It's IT in the room. Being a CIO would be the worst job on the planet. Because now you can't push back on people's demands because the people are educated. They know what the heck they're talking about. The second, the second crisis is social as well. Now, how does that drive back into here? Well, there'll be certain technologies that um, will be uh, adopted even quicker, like a Bluetooth headset, like a flat panel display, because there's this drive to become digital or at the bare minimum get the perception of digital on the way of actually becoming digital. That's one. Then you have people over here that can make it easy and friendly for people to migrate. Uh, Apple is one of those companies. So when you go into an Apple store, there's, uh, first off, the environment is laid out much like this environment, but this would be black, of course. So it's laid out in a very user-friendly uh, user experience. They're copying a lot of the stuff that Starbucks is doing in terms of thinking about their layout. It's very friendly. They have a genius bar. They have the table where the kids can sit. They have in the back a theater. They have lessons and classes. None of the salespeople are on quota. What's the point? The point's to make it safe and easy for these people to come in and uh, Apple be a ferryman service from the analog world to the digital world. Now, they've done it really well to the extent that they also aren't insulting the digital natives. Digital natives think the products are cool too. 